as everyone knows, I have been a fan of Joe Manganiello and True Blood and his character on True Blood since the so entered its start season. That's why it's hard to say this, but unless you've seen the episode, I'm not going to reveal it for you, so go away. Don't watch this video. Do not watch this video. I know everyone hates all seed. But this is a bunch of bullshit, man. How can you not like all seed? It's like they're killing off people. That real fans love. And so called fans hate. It's fucking LC, man. He's fucking dead. I know. It's ridiculous to cry over a character. No, it's not. These aren't like real, real tales. My real, real tales are not the same as my acting tales, are not the same as my real crying tales. These are mourning for one of my favorite characters in TV, Tears. I expect Joe Manganiello will be back on freaking Kelly and Michael talking about this. There is nothing happy about having to kill off a fan favorite, a true fan favorite. I can understand hating Tara. She was annoying throughout season one through five. But in season six, I really liked her. That's not compared to Alcide, who I loved since I first saw him. I can't believe what they've gone and done. This is a bullshit move. No one can have the happy ending on this show. Especially in this season. Mom, my mom was a huge fan, even bigger than I was. She noticed him the very moment 
he stepped on to the scene in season three. And book fans, shut up. It's not about everything connecting with the books. Looks to me like they're setting this up to be exactly what I figured it to be. Ending in the four state episodes. Seven to eight episodes, more like. And then, breaking everyone's heart with a huge character shocker. So, you are the best Alcide there has ever been. Even better than the books. This episode, well, I still give it a nine. It is heartbreaking beyond all shadow of doubt. And, uh, makers, if this was your goal to bring me to a level of terrors not seen since Harry Potter, Potter and the Half Blood Prince. the book, then guess what? You've succeeded. Because I never finished watching that that, freak, that freaking show or book after that particular death. Okay, it's not true. I got to the funeral part. Because I refuse to believe that Dumbledore was dead. And I'm continuing to watch True Blood because I refuse to believe that Elsie is really dead. But if you are, dude, rest in fucking peace. Rest in fucking peace.